Around the time when I first started making wine from grape juice concentrate, I wanted to try making wine from beets for some reason. It seemed like an obvious choice to use beets to make wine based upon how much sugar is in them. After a coworker had mentioned beets in a conversation, I got inspired to make some. Let's see if we can make wine from golden beets. Greensandmachines.com Now my idea at first was to make my own estate beet wine using beets I grew myself. But since my gardening season is pretty far behind, I hypothesized making some golden beet mead to compare golden beets and red beets to see how they would stack up. Well, my impulsiveness got the better of me, and I didn't quite have honey to use as my sugar additive, so I abandoned that idea. Since I still have a ton of sugar in my pantry, I decided to dig up a recipe and give the beet wine a shot. There are many beet wine recipes out there on the internet, but doing a little digging on a forum post, I found an Amish recipe in a discussion that was very simple and supposedly tasted better than some of the more traditional recipes. I guess the difference between these two involves boiling the beets. In any case, since I hadn't stopped to pick up any wine yeast, I went with the Amish recipe due to its simplicity. What could possibly go wrong? First things first, after weighing out the beets, well I noticed I bought way too many beets, they did need to be peeled. This ended up being a tedious task due to all the fun curves on the surface of each beet. The idea behind the Amish recipe is not boiling the beets and allowing water in the fermenter to naturally extract the beet juice. To accomplish this, instead of boiling the beets whole after peeling, the beets are chopped and diced to fit inside the fermentation vessel. I'm running through these clips at warp speed because slicing beets is a bit of a chore. After chopping up my six beets, I tried out my landlord's magic bullet to dice them even further. I didn't have any footage of this because I didn't want to record my landlord cooking in the background while I operated. This worked to an extent, but it was not the best solution. After dicing half mechanically, I went to work with my knife to make the rest of the beets fit into my fermenter. While all that was going on, I had some preheated water on my stove to dissolve the sugar and a Camden tablet in. The tablet wasn't called for in the initial recipe, but since I'm using hyperactive bread yeast, it's best to impede the growth of any non-yeast organisms in my must. Getting the beet pieces to fit into my fermenter wasn't too difficult, but I had to persuade some of the beet to flow through my funnel with the handle of my Teflon spoon. Believe me, I was making quite a mess in front of my landlord when doing this. Once I had all the beet slices in the fermenter, I carefully added in the sugar water. Pretty remarkable seeing how fast the water died yellow. I wonder how this will be if I used red beets. I 
I may have put too much water in because the second I pitched the yeast, it did not want to go into solution. It got caught in the stem of the bottle. I had to shake it a little to prevent some blow off from the bread yeast. Even still, the blow off continued for quite a while. I lost around a pint from blow off alone. It made it worse having little chunks of beet clog up the airlock as that built up pressure. Keeping a constant eye on that fermenter for the first few hours was a pain, as I know that if the beets restrict the flow of gas escaping, I could have quite the explosion. Eventually though, this died down after inverting the fermenter a few times to get the yeast and the beets incorporated. According to the recipe, the beet wine should be ready to drink as soon as the fermentation dies down, which will be maybe a week or two. I'll see to putting it in some bottles, maybe back sweetening it a little, or topping up the fermenter once most of the sugar is converted. I can't wait to try out this wine. It could be funny setting up a side-by-side -side taste comparison with actual white wine to see how people react to that. Heh <laughs>